In this short presentation, I want to make sure you are familiar with the concept of layers. As soon as you move beyond the most simplistic of drawing, it becomes vital that you place all the detail of the drawing in the correct layer, and therefore in advance of starting the drawing, you have to be quite strategic and set out a plan for what layers you're going to need. There's no hard and fast rule for what layers you should have, although there are some elements of good practice that we'll have a look at here. I'll spend the next couple of minutes with you going through the process of setting up layers, and then thinking about what would be appropriate layers for this project, and you'll be ready to try it for yourself. If you open up a new template file and you're in the Home tab, if you check out the layers, you'll find that by default there's a single layer 0. If you're doing anything other than the most simplistic drawing in AutoCAD, you're going to want to set up a series of layers that reflects the content of your drawing. If you take the trouble to do this strategically at the outset, you're going to get the benefit of being able to switch off certain layers, which will take particular types of content away and bring them back as and when you need them. This is easily the best way to work in a complex drawing. In this short presentation, I'm going to say a few words about the type of layers that you would typically want to set up, then we'll think what might be the most useful layers for this project specifically, and then I'll walk you through the process of setting the layers up and show you in action. So most commonly then, the type of layers that would be of use to you for almost all of your AutoCAD work would be a layer specifically designated for construction work, another layer specifically designated for dimensions, and perhaps another for centre lines. And specific to this project, we might want a layer for walls, another for doors and for furniture and a parts list or a key. And something else you might want to think about is to have all of your layers designated as either flower shop layers or coffee shop layers, so that even if the drawing becomes massively detailed, you can manage the scene by switching off and switching on the appropriate layers. Here's a quick introduction to the process then. In the Home tab, you'll be able to go to the Layers section of the ribbon, and you'll find in the top left-hand corner of the Layers section the Layer Properties button. Click on it and up will come the Layer Properties Manager. This button right here is the New Layer button. You click on it, a new layer gets created and we've got the chance to name that layer. I'm going to call that layer Construction, and I'll find that I'm able to change, among other things, its colour, its line type and its line weight. I'm happy to leave the colour to the default, and for construction lines I'm also happy to leave continuous lines, but the line weight I want to click on it, and make sure that the line weight is set for construction lines as something light, I'll go for 0.15mm in this metric template, and say OK. Essentially that's that first layer created. I'll click again on the New Layers button, and for my second layer I'll name it Dimensions. I think I want my dimensions to stand out in terms of colour, so I'll click on the colour option here, and we'll go for blue for dimensions. I'll OK that. I'm happy that my dimension lines are continuous lines, and they're nice and lightweight. So that's that layer set up. So I'm going to create a third layer now, click on the New Layer button again. This is going to be a Centre Lines layer. I'd like my Centre Lines to be red. Here's my Centre Lines layer here, it's jumped up alphabetically. I'd like my Centre Lines not to be continuous lines, so I'll click on it. I see that I've only got continuous lines loaded in this template, so I'll click on Load to get access to a wider range of line types, and I'm looking for the few centre line options that are here. I'll go for the centre 2 option, OK. Make sure I select it here, and OK. And I'll keep that line weight for the centre lines layer. I'll just close the manager for now, and I'll point out to you that at this stage then, now that we've set up our new layers, we just have to be careful to always remember which layer we're working on, and make sure that that's the current layer. If I wanted to start this drawing with some centre lines, for example, I'd go into the drop-down menu and select centre lines, and if I pick the line tool, I should get a red line with the appropriate centre line type. If I now want to create some construction, again, I should find that because I've selected the appropriate layer, I'm getting the appropriate line type. Let's take a look then at how this approach applies to this finished drawing here. If we go into the drop down menu, you'll see that there's a fair number of different layers. We have a furniture layer, doors layer, walls layer, etc. At any time, I could go to any of the layers and 
turn their visibility off. I'll take away all the furniture in one go, for example, by just turning that layer off. And of course, that can be toggled back on, as and when we need it. By the time you've finished your solution, perhaps you'll have a walls layer that's consistent for both layouts, but a furniture layer brackets flower shop and another furniture layer brackets coffee shop. As ever, make sure you see this as nothing more than suggestions and you should aim for your solution to be as unique and personalised to you as you can make it.